DuPont has always been proud of its research. Working to uncover knowledge that will contribute to better living tomorrow. Research the chemical industry often kept secret, including on PFAS, otherwise known as forever chemicals because they resist breaking down, widely used for decades in products ranging from cookware and clothing to food packaging. They knew the harm of their chemical and they didn't tell anybody. In a newly published paper, The Devil They Knew, researchers poured through previously released documents from DuPont and 3M, putting together timelines as to who knew what and when. The authors found that as early as 1970, companies knew PFAS could be highly toxic when inhaled and moderately toxic when ingested, 40 years before the public health community. We wanted to understand what were the strategies that the industry used to manipulate or suppress the scientific information. The analysis found the chemical industry took a page from Big Tobacco's playbook. There was no evidence companies were funding favorable research. They were suppressing unfavorable research and distorting public conversations about their products. We don't know the health effects. We're, we're playing out an experiment in real time. So this could have PFAS in it. This expert right. says Canada has banned certain PFAS chemicals. Many more are still under review. I would like to see is that Canada move forward more aggressively to eliminate the non-essential uses of PFAS. There's low-hanging fruit here. Kids' uniforms, menstrual underwear, the spray to clean my glasses? 3M says it plans to stop manufacturing certain PFAS forever chemicals by the end of 2025. Scientists insist governments need to get a better handle on industry tactics and enact new policies that better protect the environment and people's health. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.